I'm playing a game of fucking 4D chess and I don't even know where the board is. My friends, they always make fun of me for my double bluffs and my paranoia. But once you see this shit, you'll know I'm 100% based. Last episode, I needed to complete the quest Holy Grail to get my prayer up. And I ran into the notorious PvP hunter, Impact. He got me a few times in the castle and that's all I ever thought of it. But to scout, I hopped onto my main and I found these two cute little PvP hardcores having a chat. And I also found this hunter just sitting in the middle of Sears Village and I thought it would be funny because I am a little skip to lure the hardcore to get killed by the PKR and it didn't work. That's only the tip of the iceberg because later I found out Pimpax wasn't only the guy killing me but the hardcore out the front was a mole. This hardcore was also Pimpact. He was using the account to scout so that I would let my guard down and go to the castle so he could kill me. And then I found out even more, the PK in Sears was also Pimpact. Everyone in this situation was Pimpact trying to kill me. I thought he was just on one account happening to find me, but he was on every account on every world. I'm amazed that even the other guy wasn't at Pimpact and there was just two Pimpacts talking to each other. I'm just so impressed by this level of deception. Only I care about deception this much. So Pimpact, if you're watching this video, which I know you are, I'd like to send a formal taunt, <laughs> but I'd also like to send a formal bet. If you can kill me, if you're the one that takes my life and ends this series, I will give you my prized possession, my third age axe from my woodcutting series. It traded for around 750 mil a couple of days ago, so if you can kill me, Pimpact, it's yours. I thought I was being the little scamp in this situation, but Pimpact had me 10 scamp level scamping. <laughs> I'm just so impressed. <laughs> He didn't let the ruse up at all. And it was all just to trick me to let my guard down so he could murder me on an account that can't even attack me. We're both bumbling idiots. <laughs> I'm the bumbling idiot hardcore, and he's the bumbling idiot hunter. So I want to train some agility this episode because, you know, the PK hunters, they can't kill me if they can't catch me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 50 agility, which means I can now go and buy the boots of Hermes. These snazzy bastards are never going to leave my feet. Look at these kicks. <laughs> I look so damn cool now. And they give you a 3% recharge on your run. That'll come in handy. And some weight reduction too. These things are just all around very nice. I was going to grind it out till I could get the gloves too. But I really don't want to take off my bracelet of clay. Because what happens if I need to make my hard clay soft clay or vice versa? I still don't know. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 50 fire making. And you'll know what that means. It's time for us to go to Tempros. The little thing I like to call comedy. You probably don't see it much on RuneScape channels. But it's not just because I find misdirections hilarious. It's also for a reason. In 13 minutes, everyone in the game is going to log out. And when you log out, you refresh the skills you were training. I know that every hardcore hunter is going to use that information to figure out what each PvP hardcore was doing. And when they see that I now have 50 fire making, they're all going to automatically assume I'm going straight to Winter Todd to do what I like to call the double bluff. <laughs> I've decided maybe we're going to get some Tempros. I need food anyway, so... <laughs> Let's go waste some hardcore hunter's time. You'll see that my swordfish is uh, slowly dwindling. That's not because I'm taking damage. That's purely from misclicks. Every time I play this fucking game, I always click on them by accident. Oh, what the fuck? What? <laughs> God damn, my luck on this account is insane. I just got the fish barrel. <laughs> It's mental. So if you don't know, the fish barrel is the one item I want on my other hardcore account. Jeez, I've got like 13 KC, 14 KC, and I have two insane drops. But this thing is amazing. It basically means you can get double the fish, but without banking, which is a big. We don't have much of a use for it yet, but fuck, that's so helpful. That's so damn good. Oh, they're called I found you. Hello. <laughs> you found me. <laughs> They definitely could have killed me. Good luck. Oh no. Guys, I think we may or may not be done. I will find you again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, the double bluff didn't work. I guess it's winter Todd time. You guys want to do some winter Todd? <laughs> How much food did we get? That should be enough to get us going. I would prefer to have more than that, but I was found by I found you. They did what their name says. So I'm back at my favorite peninsula, my backup swordfish spot, because no one ever comes here. Except that I'm, I'm repeating what I said the other video, but... <laughs> So I think I'm just gonna grind it out, do it the old fashioned way, won't go back to Tempros because that guy's spoiled by fun. I'll see you when inevitably someone walks in on me. I'm like, oh, don't look, I'm wearing rune. Oh fuck, I'm not even using the goddamn drop that I got. <laughs> got a super rare drop and I've just completely forgotten about it. I'll grab the fish barrel. So, I hated this. <laughs> it's so slow. I think I'm gonna go and try the wonderful winter tot. I reckon we will 100% get attacked and I'm gonna blame you guys. Why'd you spill beans, guys? Anyone else uncomfortable that 
It was just breathing down my neck. Shirt, boot and gloves, pants. I do love this outfit, though I am going to miss my bracelet of clay. So I'm going to solo a few games, settle in for the night. Again, I think 100% someone's going to try and kill me, so I got to stay vigilant. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, go. Oh, 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 no, don't like this. Don't like this, don't like this. Why am I here? <laughs> Why did I come to the corporal cave? My heart is legitimately racing, Jesus Christ. If he had, he didn't have TBs or freezers or anything, but I was very much enjoying my stay and now I don't even get the reward carried. I was there for like 20 minutes. Oh, that was stressful. That really fucking woke me up. <laughs> I'm super chill right now. I'm completely reclined in my bed. It's just having a great time. I realize a lot of this series is just looking at the login screen. And I'm not going to change that. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit bad recently because I can't stream. I used to stream three times a week, but I can't stream on this account. So to make it up for you guys, I'm going to do daily Inferno attempts over on my main account, over on twitch.tv slash It was my first attempt. I am so sweaty. And I don't even mean that in the way that like, oh, sweaty gamers are sweaty. I went for a jog this morning and I didn't sweat as much as I sweated during this Inferno attempt. There was so much focus and brain power, but I'm not a PKR. I'm not a PVMer. I don't have my hotkeys set up. When I enjoy this game, I do it to relax. <laughs> I'm gonna prove to all of you that anyone can get their Inferno cape with a lot of time, a lot of practice, and money, I guess. I also have money. So yeah, if you want to watch me flounder, feel free to come and follow me on Twitch. I'm gonna keep doing it every day. But yeah, back to wood- back to PvP. So we actually ended up getting a supply crate before I got attacked, and we got nothing interesting. <laughs> what? But today, I think what I want to do is I want to go train some woodcutting and hunter, and the best place to do that is over on the north side of Soul Island. Isle of Soul. <laughs> so up here, there's a teak spot, which is the best spot in the game. And there's also hunting here that I can get. So I'm feeling pretty confident up here. It takes about five minutes to walk to the top. For the hardcore hunters, if they're scouting up here, it's such a waste of time if no one's up here. And I'm just using their laziness against them. Because we all know, Pimp Act, their one defining feature is their incompetency. <laughs> Come and kill me, boys. <laughs> This little camp is a gold mine. Not literally, that's the other side. It has so many item spawns, which are so helpful. If we repair this spinning wheel, we can basically trade crafting forever because there's flax up here. Oh no. Turns out, um, uh, as the name would suggest, I'm only okay. I'm not smart. All right, take two. <laughs> The problem up here as well is if I get TB'd, there's no safe spots nearby. My best bet is just to run in here, go up and down the stairs until I can log out. Um, I'm gonna go repair that spinning wheel and then I'm gonna go and get the actual supplies for Hunter because I'm a bit of a cool kid. I can't say the C word in YouTube where it gets mad at me. Five box traps, five bird snares, and a butterfly nose. Who doesn't like butterflies? <laughs> Spinning wheel repaired. It's like they designed this place purely for PvP hardcores. They give us three amazing skills to train in the middle of nowhere. I think I'm gonna grind out 28 Hunter because if I do that, then I know I'm doing exactly what Sea Engineer did, but I swear I'm, I'm my own person. <laughs> I do want to grind out woodcutting too because I'm so close to being able to get that rune axe and that'll be very appealing. Not that helpful, but it'll make me feel good inside. And that is 29 Hunter. So we can now do Eagle's Peak when we feel like it and we can do Salamanders in the near future. Probably shouldn't have said that because I'm not going to do it this video. <laughs> <laughs> Means we can do something. Ooh, I wonder what I'm gonna do. And that is 33 crafting. I ended up getting 58 wood cutting, but I have to take a break now. And I know that they're gonna look at the high score, see me having more crafting, more hunter, and more wood cutting, know exactly where the fuck I was. So I'm not gonna come back. This place is just such a common place. I've been here for like six hours and no one's come yet. I don't wanna risk it anymore. So I think I'm gonna call it there for now. So I just logged out, which means they know that I know that they know that I know that I'm doing hunter, which means I'm gonna do rune crafting. <laughs> because they don't know that I don't know that they know that I'm doing rune crafting. Because if they knew that I knew that they knew that I was doing rune crafting, I probably wouldn't do any rune crafting. But luckily for us, I know that they don't know that I know that I am doing rune crafting. <laughs> Oh, I've only got 10 essence. Topping up on teleport cards and then teleporting and hopefully not dying. Hey, it's my old mate from the last video. How are you doing? <laughs> level up a bit. I could punch him now like I wanted to a few episodes ago. <laughs> I hopped to the free-to-play world to avoid them. Uh, they did the same thing. <laughs> That's a D-Boa. 
That's a D-bar. And that is 800 pure essence and normal essence. I went to the free-to-play world because that D-bar scared me. But that should get us to about 19 runecrafting. So I'm going to go do this over the air altar. Hopefully I don't die. Hopefully that's not foreshadowing. And that's like three levels, I think. Hey, two levels. Fuck me. Just realized I had taken all my armor off for run energy because I was feeling confident. You know what? Ah. <laughs> It's another bloody Sea Engineer parody. How much for- shut the fuck up. 20 quid. <laughs> Just trying to relate to my British audience. Oh shit, Sea Engineer's online on my world. So I've added Sea Engineer just so whenever he's online I could not be where he is. I just don't like when people drag in a crowd. Should we DM him? Oh, he logged off. I was gonna go tell him exactly where I was. <laughs> oh, he just hopped to my fucking world. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself murdered. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and this is 19 rune crafting. Hello, hello, magic, magic, magic hands. Fuck. <laughs> and with that, I do want to train my magic up a lot. Currently, it's pretty low, and the only thing I'm really afraid of is TBers who will then hit me with like fire surge or something ridiculous. So, 70% of your magic defense is determined by your magic level. So, if I can get this a lot higher, I'll be a lot tankier to the things that could actually kill me. But the problem there is it's going to raise my combat level a lot. I guess we're getting a bit more risque. Cue the fucking um, uh, next clip. <laughs> This guy literally just hopped in dressed as the Grim Reaper. Hi. <laughs> Ominous. I'm death. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Hope I don't get to meet you for a while. <laughs> so I have been busy overnight. I've raised my combat level five levels. Yes, I'm terrified. But we now have 27 magic, 28 range, and 21 strength. So that is huge for us. And with that, we can actually upgrade our best in slot bracelet to our new best in slot bracelet. I know we're all gonna miss our bracelet of clay, which turns our soft clay into hard clay or vice versa. I still don't know. We can now get an even better bracelet. I know. I was shocked when I found out about this too, that there was a better bracelet out there than the bracelet of clay. Just wait for this. This will blow your simple minds. Grab the wrong thing. I grabbed an amulet mold. I was meant to grab the ring mold. Just take two. Not only do we get these incredible dueling rings, which is basically some of the most helpful teleports in the game. We also get a Castle Wars bracelet. Now the Castle Wars bracelet, if you don't know, it probably helps you in Castle Wars. It may or may not heal you or do more damage. I don't know, but it will unfortunately replace our wonderful bracelet of clay. And who knows? <laughs> Maybe when we get our combat even higher, we'll finally be able to make whatever a ruby bracelet is. It could turn our water into wine. <laughs> it could turn our herbs into clean herbs. Now that would be helpful. Why is there a trend with the bracelets like they don't actually do anything? Sorry, I, I don't mean to insult our new favorite bracelet of Castle Wars. <laughs> There's three charges in there. I wonder what those three charges do. Maybe we'll have a game of Castle Wars later just to figure it out. A friendly reminder, I am streaming daily the Inferno attempt, so come and join me over on Twitch. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Um...